What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to boost your FPS and overall performance when playing Star Citizen on your PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial, everything you need will be listed in the description below. First, let's take a look at your in-game settings. Navigate to the graphics tab. Here, set the first three options to your liking, as these will not affect your performance. Below. Make sure to set the resolution to your native monitor resolution. In case you still need more performance after all of the next tweaks, then consider lowering your resolution option. This will in any case increase your performance, but the visual quality will suffer a lot. Below, make sure to play in full screen mode. I have set this option to windowed as it's easier to record. Set the overall quality option to low or medium, depending on your system specifications. I prefer to disable motion blur, but this will also come down to personal preference. Disable vSync and set the sharpening and chromatic aberration options to zero. When this is done, leave the game running and open up your task manager. Here in the processes tab, right click star citizen and select to go to details. In the details tab, the star citizen.exe application should be highlighted. Simply right click it and set the priority to high. This will in turn allocate more resources to playing the game and should increase your performance, especially if you have other programs running in the background. In order to reduce the CPU utilization from other applications, I suggest you to end some processes from running in the background in the Processes tab, which you don't need when playing the game. But make sure to only add programs from running, which you know won't break your operating system. You can now Close the game and your task manager. Next, open up your Robot Space Industries launcher. Here in your settings, you can select to verify the integrity of your game files. This will take a minute to re-download and replace any missing or corrupted game files. Next, make sure that your peripherals and other devices are running the latest driver. In some cases, Outdated driver software of your components can be the culprit of stuttering or FPS drops. Search for Device Manager in your taskbar search to open it up. On this window, expand Mice and other pointing devices. Right click the device you are using, select Update Driver and then search automatically for updated driver software. In case you are unsure about which device you are currently using, then repeat this step for each device. You should also update your network adapter, display adapter and disk drivers. When this is done, close this window and make sure that your graphics driver and operating system is up to date. This step can make the biggest performance difference, depending on how often you are updating your drivers. In case you are using an Nvidia graphics card, then I suggest using the GeForce Experience application. Otherwise, you can use the AMD driver suit. In the Drivers tab, simply click on Download and the application will automatically download and install the latest driver. In your Settings, under General, make sure that the in-game overlay is turned off. This can in some cases result in random lag when enabled, especially on systems running a low-end CPU. You can now close this window and search for Update in your taskbar search to open up your Search for Updates System Settings window. Here, make sure to download the latest update and restart your PC to install it. When this is done, we will change some OS settings, which are usually turned on by default and could reduce your overall performance, especially when using demanding applications. Search for Game Bar to open up the Game Bar system settings. Here, uncheck the recording option and in the Captures tab, make sure to additionally disable the background recording option. These settings will only reduce your performance. If you want to record your gameplay, then I suggest using OBS Studio or an external capture card if you lack performance. Next, search for Graphic Settings and open up your Graphic System Settings. On this window, select Browse and your File Explorer will open up. From here, navigate to the drive on which you saved the game on. Program Files. RSI Launcher and here select the RSI Launcher 
and add it to the program list. Once it's added, you can change the options of the application so that the graphics preference is set to high performance. Don't forget to apply your changes. Again, in your settings, look up Startup to open up your Startup Apps options. Here, you should disable apps from automatically starting up on System Boot. Especially applications such as Skype or Discord can be taxing to your overall system performance and should be enabled when you actually plan to use them. Next, we will change a few settings in your NVIDIA control panel. Right-click your desktop and select to open it up. Here, navigate to Manage 3D Settings and then Program Settings. Select to add a program to customize and then add Star Citizen from the program list. Below, we will change a few settings. Make sure that the CUDA setting is set to your main GPU. Set the power management mode to prefer maximum performance and set the texture filtering quality to performance. Make sure to apply your changes as this will improve the game's performance when using a low-end graphics card. In case you have decent system performance and none of these tabs helped you out, then you might have malware or other third-party software running on your system. You should uninstall recently installed software to find out which application is causing the issue. In some cases, Adobe applications or Shadowplay reserve a big part of your memory to run in the background. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.